India has a unique intellectual and cultural tradition that goes back over 5,000 years. Over these 50 centuries, Indian scientists and scholars, artists and engineers have studied and made original contributions in fields as diverse as mathematics, medicine, astronomy, ecology, architecture, music, economics, philosophy, linguistics, and literature, just to name a few. But how much do we really know about this extensive and profound Indian heritage? What does the average Indian really understand about the works of Bhaskara, Charak, Parmeshwaran, Bhojaraj, Chanakya, Adi Shankar, Panini, or Kalidas? Professor Rama Subramanian is a globally renowned scholar with deep expertise in Advaita Vedanta and the Indian tradition of mathematics and astronomy. He also holds a PhD in theoretical physics. He currently teaches at IIT Mumbai and has received several honors and recognitions for his work in traditional Indian knowledge systems. The idea of India losing to um, foreign invaders um, over a period of time and we learn about these invasions a lot more and they get highlighted in our history because you know, our history has been given by the British and it's been built in a, a, in a certain way for a reason. And here in this camp we are actually helping them understand um, the history of victories in India that has actually enabled India to have a continuous civilization for thousands of years. Augusta Gurukulam is proud to introduce a learning program that aims to fulfill this long-standing and urgent need. Augustia was formed by a team of dedicated professionals who are passionate about the teaching and revival of classical Indian knowledge systems. Indian way of solving problems uh, in their back pocket that could always be helpful so that they can play a role um, uh, in the society that they are in wherever they are whether they're in India or in the US um, and uh, be solving problems differently if that can help them reach the goal quicker. We believe that they can get smarter because you know they are learning stuff in the original. When, uh, when we think about like origin of trigonometry or origin of geometry. These are original texts from which they're going to learn these subjects. Many of us till today are not even aware of the rich heritage that we have. So lack of knowledge is one of the most fundamental factors. If a nation has to understand what its heritage has been there should be courses which is available either at the school level or there should be parental care which can teach them irrespective of what is being taught in the school or there should be literature which is available to a common man which he can read for himself and analyze for himself to understand what its contribution is. Now we are lacking in all the three aspects. As a result, it is not a surprise that none of us are aware of our own cultural or scientific heritage and its value. As a nation, we need to devise strategies to make people aware of their own cultural and scientific heritage which cannot be gained with the texts that are currently available. So we have to design courses, we have to develop texts, so which throw enough light on our own contributions. If it is done, then definitely if you among the young minds may get excited about it and they may be able to do some remarkable work in their own chosen fields. So an introductory course both at school level as well as at college level I would say should be made mandatory. Dr. Chitra Madhavan has researched extensively on temple architecture, iconography and epigraphy as the author of several books and articles on the culture and heritage of South India and 
as an engaging and passionate teacher. She is much sought after to teach and lecture in universities all over India. Hello, I am Chitra Madhavan. I am a historian uh, focusing on temple architecture, sculpture and inscriptions. I am very happy to be part of this camp where I'll be teaching temple architecture and sculptures. It's uh, very important for all of us, especially the younger generation, children, to know about uh, our country's past through our ancient architecture and through our sculptures and through our inscriptions. Mm, we have a fantastic uh, tradition of building the Stapatya Vedam in this country, which is many, many hundreds of years old. We have temples across the length and breadth of India. Uh, at first sight, the temples in each part of the country may look very different. But essentially, the architecture has a basic plan, um, and that comes from our Agama Shastras, which are the texts according to which the temples have been built. The regional variations happen because of the building material that is different in each part of this uh, country. While we do go to temples to pray, and these are essentially religious institutions, we should bear in mind that the architecture and the sculptures only enhance that value of our temples. If we miss seeing the beauty that is around us, we are missing a part of the ethos uh, that these institutions have had over the centuries. The music and the dance and the art and the architecture combined with the traditions and the rituals and the festivals have given a certain flavor to our temples. And unless children are taught to appreciate all of this, I'm afraid we'll be losing a sizable section of our tradition and our culture. It's necessary to infuse certain values associated with these temples to young students, and they need to take it forward and give it to the next generation. I look forward to interacting with these young students and teaching them about temple architecture and sculptures, and perhaps a field visit to one of the ancient temples as well. about their culture so when they grow up they can pass their knowledge on so I feel that that's a very rich part of being Indian even talking in their own mother tongue is a big pushback like you know even though they understand they uh, like you know read or write or like you know do anything a number of things but as soon as they see another kid who speaks the same language immediately they switch to English and they forget to like you know talk in their own native language. That is the biggest thing that I feel that as a parent I cannot even teach them unless they experience that. You're not completely dependent on your iPads and televisions and things like that. Probably they should start this sort of a course for parents as well. In order to know the beauty of it you need to experience it. That's what I feel. They don't they don't teach this, these type of things in school like when they do like the history about India, they say like they just say some myths and stuff that's not even true. So, like, hey, the British, uh, sorry, India is divi divided in north and south. Um, there's a big difference between north and south, but they're actually one. And this rich Indian, like the Hindu culture, is just so diverse and great. Like, uh, uh, I barely have any words. send us your comments and reach out to us.